Greetings, YouTube. There has been a uh, pretty consistent question, which I think is a very fair question, regarding the game post-July 4th weekend sales. We saw two versions, depending on your progression level, of the what if I gave every champion a wish crystal opportunity of a certain year twice. We saw a 2020 champion selector, to put it lightly, and a 2021 champion selector. That gave everybody who got the opportunity to buy them, and that was quite a few people, a guaranteed Hercules, a guaranteed Apocalypse, but particularly Hercules. Now, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be, for the first time in two months, refreshing and redoing the champion versus champion of each class polls during my live streams. They're very intensive uh, live streams. They're very uh, sometimes controversial live streams because people don't like the results. And yet, I appreciate that at least it's the community getting to vote in a poll and not just me and my limited knowledge because somebody like KT1 is far more uh, credible at talking about all the champions of each class than I ever will be. And I don't want to pretend uh, otherwise. But it gives me a chance to say, well, the data suggests this. It's not a, you know, obvious thing, but it's sometimes a, a necessary thing. So if everybody has Hercules and he's the best champion in the game, there are three things that can happen for a company that desperately still wants to make profit. Actually, four things. The fourth thing is that they're going to assume that this is going to break the game for the people who already maybe don't spend that much because they're in-game players who have really good rosters. They might spend on energy refills for Battlegrounds. They might spend on, say, a $5, two Cavalier Nexus Crystals bundle. But they're not going to spend like they would on another crystal to get Hercules because they have the champion. So we're going to concentrate our marketing efforts toward the beginners, which is why it's so strange that they put out this unit store, which I would have been all over. I probably would have spent a decent amount of cash. You're telling me that my best four-star champions I could upgrade faster through some unit store? Uh, yeah, I totally would have done that trade-off when I started playing the game. So I think it's a genius move, but then they ran into some bugs and maybe it crashed the game. Maybe it somehow gave players. I don't even know how it would be an unfair advantage, but they just, they delayed it. They hit it. They finally addressed it on the forums when people asked. It was handled terribly. I made a video about it last night if you didn't see it. The other theory is that, and I, I mean, who knows after the Mole Man fiasco that we're dealing with right now, but that they have to say Hercules has never worked as intended. He's too power, overpowered. He's broken the game. They've got to nerf him. I don't buy a direct nerf to Hercules. I just don't. There's never been a single post that I have found, and maybe you can prove me wrong, certainly wouldn't be the first time, that Kabam has said, uh, he's bugged. Mole Man, they did say it on the forums, they just didn't say they were going to fix it until 16 months later when in the middle of the night it felt like they, they patched him, and hence we've got the, uh, the complaining justifiably of today on the forums and them trying to silence most of the complaints and shadow ban people. So how do you nerf someone if you can't directly nerf them? Because the same question revolved around Blade. Well, obviously, they're going to do what they did with Blade back then. Because Blade used to be by far the most powerful champion in the game. And he was actually kind of created to defeat who was the most powerful champion in the game originally in terms of an Alliance War boss. And that was, believe it or not, Magic. Magic used to be a guaranteed X amount of percent off with the Limbo. And then Blade was created and suddenly nobody was putting magic as their bosses because they knew people had Blade. So the game always evolves. So eventually I, I expect there to be nodes that nerf Hercules, and there already are some. Uh, and also some champions that counter, you know, they'll be the, the Nimrod to Hercules, you know. But in the meantime, they can also do something that they have publicly denied, but we know on this channel and so many other people know elsewhere that they've done. And that's tweak the AI to be more all or nothing like. So here you can see a Hercules fight against Moon Knight. This is a fight that is pretty dang straightforward normally, right? But what has ended up happening, and this happened to this summoner, he said overall for several parts of the, the side quest fight, is that the AI just refused to fire their specials. And so it backs you up in a corner where you reach a point where you're either unable to dash back because, again, you're stuck in that back left corner, or you make the mistake that this summoner makes, 
And that's that you have to, in order to land some hits, be aggressive enough to push that defender to a special three. And he sent in this video because he said this has happened so much he finally recorded it, where uh, the AI uh, gets some hits in and then immediately upon getting a special three activates it. And of course, you are going to be knocked out when you're fighting a 29,440 Now I'm not saying this guy's the best champion fighter in the world, you know? Although I do appreciate featuring summoners who are more average skill sets than perfect for the average summoner to relate to. But this was, what, the second fight maybe? I mean, it didn't the first. Of the legendary side quest for Prime 56. So, this is the AI answer to Hercules. As I'm sure they're continuing to develop new champions that will nerf him without actually directly nerfing him and continued nodes. I just have to say, I was going to make a video about this. I might still, but the haunted node that Hela has is some of the biggest BS I've ever seen in the game. I didn't realize, and I still think the, think the AI is actually doing this more with that node in general, but I didn't realize how often the AI dashes back and it'd be faltered every time that happens is such BS that I uh, I just, I find it to be so annoying that it's like, this isn't fun. Like, maybe that's the point, right? You're just supposed to be miserable when you fight bosses, but it puts the FU in fun. Well, Prime56, thanks for the video. Thanks for the info. We'll see what happens. It's it's going to be a long, a long month, it looks like.